My name is Belkis and you're welcome to my channel. It's so good to be with you guys once again. Firstly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you need to hit the red button right down there because you don't want to miss out on any of my tutorials anymore. You can also join us on Facebook, Sewing Innovation. It's a lovely closed group where we put up illustrations on some outfit. Today, I will be making a princess bustier peplum top just like what i have on and it is so easy to make you know when the kids say it is easy it is easy and we will be drafting directly on our fabric so let's go to our work table and i will show you how you do that for the fabric i will be using this african print then you need a matching lining you need a matching zipper i like to use invisible zipper you need also a matching thread so now I will show you how you will fold your fabric and you need just about two years to make this princess bossy peplum top. It's so easy. So now I will show you how to fold your fabric. So first, we need to know the length of our top. Like my top, I want the length to be 27. 26, 27 is okay for me. And we will be cutting three parts. We will cut the, from the nape of the neck to the waist. Then also the band, if you are having a band like mine, it is inclusive with the nape of the neck to the waist and then the peplum. So now let's take it this way. From the nape of my neck to my, to my waist is 17 inches. If I'm having a band, I use 17. If I'm not having any band, I use 16. So for instance, my, the nape of my neck to my waist is 17 inches. And I want a band, a band height of one and a half inches. So I will take that away from the, from the length of 17, which will give me 15.5, that's 15 and a half inches. And then I will have seam allowance to it because I will be joining this upper part to my band. So that will make it 16. And we will be, copying, cop, we will be cutting this upper part first. So now I will be using from the nape of my neck to, my, to the place before the band as 16 inches. So now let's go over to our table. So now this is my fabric. This is the hedge of my fabric and I just fold over. So how would I know the amount of fabric to fold over? Since it is from my, the nape of my neck to my waist. So what I will do is just my bust divided by 4 plus 3 or 4 inches. Which is this, which is what I have folded. So after doing that, then I will start marking. So first... I will draw a straight line as usual. So after drawing the straight line, which will be the base for holler measurement, then I will start with half of my ham hole, which is 8.5 here. Then I will go to my bust point, which is here, and then my under bust, which is here, and then where I want my waist to stop. Remember, we removed the band from here. So I have 15 and half. But because of the seam allowance to join it to the band, I will make it 16. So this is where it stopped. Then I will make it into a straight line with my T square. Next thing is to insert the 3 inch, 8 inch standard. Then I will come down by one inch and then connect. Then I can insert my shoulder measurement. So my shoulder measurement is eight and a half. So if yours is seven, you go inward. If yours is more, you go forward. So I will insert it on my Bust points just to get a perfect straight line. Then I will determine the midpoint. Right here. Then come in three three fourth. Sorry, three fourth inch. And then use my ample. from the 3 4 inch mm -hmm. 
and then from here I will connect to the chest line. So now we are done with the ham hole. Then for the neckline, I will do a width of five. So this is three, the remaining two will go along this way. And then for the depth, I will do three and a half or four. Then with my ham hole, I will connect it. So this is my neckline and this is my ham hole. Then I will go over to the bust pan. So by now you should know how to calculate your bust pan, which is the distance from one nipple to the other nipple. So mine is four and a half. And because I'm drafting directly on my fabric, I will have to add half inch to join when I join it together. So the, after taking off the half inch as the seam allowance, then I will arrive exactly as my 4.5. So I would that now add that half inch to my 4.5, it will make it five. So I will insert that from my bust point line down to the waist. And I will use my ruler to draw the straight line. So the next thing is to take in our darts. So before going to the ham hole, let us deal with the waist dart. So the difference between a princess bustier and a non, a, the classic princess dart is that here you go in quarter inch more than whatever you are taking in on your waist at the under bust rather than the classic princess dart where you will just take in half inch and connect to the to the bust point so now i will just take half an inch on both sides you've seen me do one sometimes so you could do as you like for the dart whatever you wish to take in but for this particular one i'll be taking in half inch on both sides you could do three quarter on both sides or even one inch on both sides but this tutorial will be doing half an inch like the one i'm putting on i did half inch on both sides so this is half inch So the next thing now is to go to the under bust. Let me go over it again. This is my chest line. This is my bust point line. This is my under bust and this is my waist line. For the classic, we do not need the under bust. But for this, because it's a princess bust here, because we want the bust area to be more prominent, so we need her under the bust. So since I did half inch on both sides here, so here I will be doing three quarter. Because on, at the under bust, you should go in quarter inch more than the waist. So now, what I will do is to do three quarter here. You could do one inch as you like. So if you are taking in one inch here, you will do one and quarter here. So, but since I did half an inch here, so I will do three quarter on both sides here. So remember I said, I always advise you to come down one inch from your bust point. So here I will come down one inch. So now I can connect the dots. So now I will connect, this is from my waistline to my under the bust. And then here. So then I will connect this one inch which I came down at the bust point. I've made a tutorial on this before. So I will try to put the link in the description box below. There also I made a very detailed explanation on the paper which will be beneficial to you. So we are finished with the waist that. So now we go over to the ham hole that. So all I'll do is to measure First, I'll have to insert my bust measurement. My bust divided by four is 10.5. I usually had ease to my bust area, but this is optional. If you have taken your accurate measurement, you can ignore that. So this is where my bust 
measurement is then I can take the measurement of this area so here I have 10 inches so half of 10 inches is 5 inches then I will go down to locate 5 inches this is 5 inches but because we are drafting on our fabric and we would need half an inch to join this size together after cutting it off so I'll come down by half an inch which will make it 5 and half which is here then I took in half an inch on both sides here so I will take my that half an inch on both sides if you are taking three quarter also take three quarter however you want that so I will go in half an inch on both sides so this is half an inch and also this is half an inch so after doing this from this midpoint I will connect to my bust point so this is my bust point line so I will connect to the five and a half inch mark after doing that, then I'll connect this that also to this place. I always advise also to go up by one inch. This is just to ease the area around the bust. So there's no cause for you to have a very tight outfit whatsoever. Then I will connect. So these are going off. Then, whatever you are taking here, I took half inch on both sides, making one inch. So from this lower one, I will go up by one inch. The reason for this is you don't, have one, you don't want to have one side shorter than the other. So it starts here. Then I will take my ham hole again and redraw the ham hole. This is where it stops, then I will connect. This is my new armhole. So we are done. Then we'll go over to the horizontal measurements. For my bust, I've already inserted my bust measurement. Then remember, we took in some that here. And whatever you take in, I've always stressed that in my tutorials. Whatever you are taking in, make sure you add it to the other side. So here, I took one inch here. That is half inch on both sides, which is one. Then I need seam allowance to join this together because we will be cutting this off. So we have two panels. So we need half an inch on both sides to join it together. So that is making two. Then I need seam allowance to join my front panel to the back panel. That makes it three. Then I will be adding three inches to this side. Never joke with your allowances, please. Because I always say it's better to have a loose garment than have a tight garment. So we are done with that. Then we go over to the... Some people tend to insert their under bust measurement, but I don't use it. I've always said that I don't use my under the bust measurement, but if you are using it, just insert it horizontally and add whatever you are taking out to it. But once you go in quarter inch more than the waist, it always comes out perfect. So I'll go to my waistline. My waist, quarter of my waist is nine inches. I took half an inch on both sides, which is one. Then, I'll need half an inch on both sides to join it together, making two. Then I need one inch to join my front panel to the back panel, making three. Then I will add three to nine. So that will give me 12, which is here. So we are done. All I have to do is connect. If you have problem taking in your allowances, all you have to do is, since we left one inch allowance, which is here, and then you come up here, one inch seam allowance, that is to join the side, you can connect. Can you see that? So this is what you use in sewing the front panel to the back panel. So all you have to do is, if you want this chalk to show on this other side, after cutting everything, just turn it this way. So that this side is facing this side and then just tap it. The chalk will show on the, on the other side. So now it's time to cut out. Now what I place my lining underneath my fabric. What I just do is do the same way we folded and then I'll just cut it off and place underneath my fabric because I like to cut it together. Or better still, you can cut the main fabric and then you place it on the lining to cut later, but I just like to cut mine 
all together and make sure you pin it you don't want it moving around to affect your measurements and lastly do not forget to add half an inch seam allowance to your shoulder measurement do not joke with your allowances and i can cut doing that I'll come over to this area and take out the dart and this area make sure it is curved let me go over it again because that is what will give the shape of the bust can you see that so you place your hand hold curve this way and then you will use your chop to make it curve you could always curve it without it, but it's better you use it. Can you see it is more obvious? So these that are going up. So this is the new hand hold. Then I will cut this way. The side panel is off. Then we'll go to the remaining. And then remember, this is the new one. So we go back to the old one here. This, that is going off. But let's just finish it up. To be easier for us to see. Then I'll take off the remaining that. Make sure you pin your fabric together. back this is the front panel can you see that so you can see the under bust goes in more than the waist and the same goes to the lining also make sure you iron on your fabric before cutting can you see that so now let's go to the back panel this is the back panel I will just make a normal waist that for the back panel so this is my shoulder line this is my chest line and this is my waist line you do not need the bust point line at the back and remember the back panel will have a zipper at the back so what you will do is measure one inch on the line and connect in a straight line so i have one inch here for my zipper allowance and then i took my shoulder slope also at the back so in case you want a princess that for the back. It is so easy. Just try to watch my video on how to make a princess that gown. I explain in details. And in case you want to learn how to sew your fabrics together, how to finish up the lining and to have a perfect flat princess that at the back, you can join our inter ongoing intermediate class. It is really awesome and you will enjoy it because it is so detailed and all the sewing was done step by step. So let's go over to our fabric. For the back neck, I will just come down by one inch. You could do a lower back if you want. You could do three, four, five. You could have a high neck at the front and then have a low back neck at the back. So you can do it anyhow you want. There is no fixed way of doing things in sewing. So here I will just do one inch at the back. And then for the front, I made the width of five inches. So three here and the remaining two will be along the shoulder slope then i will connect with my hand hole and the back neck is done then for the hand hole i will get the midpoint which is here there's no need for you going here all you have to do is to join it to the chest line the next thing is for us to add our horizontal measurements. Half of my bust. Then I will insert quarter of my bust here, which is here. 
and then the waist. We will still have our same allowance, but first let's take in our darts. Also, you just insert your bust span plus half an inch the way we did at the front. So I will insert five inches here and then five inches here. So I will draw a straight line. Then I will go in half an inch for the dart on both sides. This is half an inch and this is half an inch. Here I will just come down by, you can come down by half an inch, three quarter or one inch, depending on what you want. Then I will connect. And here. So we are done with that. So the next thing is to add our seam allowances for the waist. Remember, we took half inch on both sides, which is one inch. Then you need one inch for seam allowance to join the back panel to the front panel, making two. So I will add extra two inches, which is here. And for the bust also, I will just add seam allowance, which is one, because we did not take any that here. So now we are ready to cut. Do not forget your seam allowance at the shoulder, the half inch seam allowance. It is better you mark yours. Then I will open up this. You can cut it along with your lining. Or better, after cutting this, you place it on your lining. So after cutting this, then I will open up my... So this is for the back. Can you see that? So this is the seam allowance for the zipper. And to make it easier for you when taking your dart just notch it before opening it you just notch it at the bottom here just notch it here notch it here so when you are sewing it will be easy for you to take it in so the rest of this fabric here will be used for my sleeve so now we will cut the band before the peplum so for the band i want a band height of one and a half i always like to fold my band over so but first one one and a half then we need half an inch to join the peplum to the band which is half inch and also the upper part of the band which is also half inch making one inch so one and a half plus one inch will be two and a half so i will be cutting two and a half on four or if you are cutting it opening um straight away that is five so let me show you on the tip so now this is my band so the height is five inches can you see that so when i fold it becomes two and a half and then for the width is 19 because half of my waist is half of my so it is 18 that is 36 divided by two then one inch for seam allowance so that was why it was 19 so can you see we have five by 19 so by the time i fold it over i will have two and half so by the time i take half inch half inch it will be 1.5 so now let's go over to quarter peplum for the peplum now, you need your waist radius. I already made a detailed tutorial on how to get that in one of my videos. Just set for how to calculate your waist radius key signature. It will pop up. And I will also put the link in the description box. You need your waist radius. Mine is 5.5. And to know how to fold for your peplum. Like now, the peplum I needed is 10. So, I need half an inch to turn it over, which is 11. So, I will have my radius to eat. And whatever it gives me is what I will use to fold my 
fabric. So let's go back to our table. So this is my remaining fabric. So I will be using this side to measure because this will give you a false calculation. So I need 10 inch for the peplum and then my, uh, my waist radius is 5.5. That makes it 15 and a half. So I, then I'll just add half an inch as same allowance to turn my fabric with the lining. So that will make it 16. So let me just check out. So here I have like 17 and a half. So it is okay. Unfold. Then after doing that, then I will fold this way. Can you see that? After folding this, then I will fold this way. So I will be taking my radius here. So now, can you see the way I have folded it? You could also fold it again this way just to make it shorter. But not to confuse you, I'll just leave it this way way and this is same way you will be folding your lining also then we'll start with the waist radius which is five and a half try to watch how the video on how to calculate your waist radius it is very important because i explained how to remove your seam allowance the one in which you will be using to attach your peplum to your band so we keep marking five and half try to be accurate then after doing that i will just join can you see that then we'll go to the length of the peplum remember we've added this 5.5 to the length of 10 inches and then the half inch for the hemming allowance so which gave us okay so then we we'll start marking the 16 make sure you are accurate also and then you keep make sure your ta measuring tape starts at the edge that's the center and you keep going and you measure the 16. the 16 is the 10 for the length plus the five and a half waist radius then plus half an inch for hemming the lower part and you keep going that way then after doing that then we can connect We are good to cut out our paper. Put my lining in such manner also, and I will place it under in my fabric. You could cut it separately, but I just like to cut it together for accuracy. Then I'll start cutting. Make sure you pin yours together. open up one side because it is a full circle you do the same thing for the lining and this is what you have and you see it is a full circle so after joining to the band this is what you have so you do the same thing to the lining and I will try to assemble it to show you so this is all the fabrics we have cut out this is the upper part. So this is the band. Can you see the band? So by the time you take this in this way, can you see we have the seam allowance? So when you join it to the back, it will match it. Then it will match up with the band. So after taking in half an inch here, this way, then also half an inch here. So you could pad it. You could add ordinary gum stay to it. Like mine, I just had ordinary interlining to it and it still come out fine once you have cut it accurately so you need to take it half inch in here half inch on both sides to 
then it will match up with the band and then this is the peplum can you see it will fit with the band can you all see the peplum top e form that is just it on the peplum top and that is just it on how to cut a princess bustier peplum top you can see it is so easy and you can do it right there at home so if my tutorial has been helpful just give me a thumbs up do not forget to tell your friends about it and subscribe to my channel so see you later bye